What's up, Anar Attacks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing on X Life, and um, we're gonna make some more shops. I know uh, I've been making a bunch, but we're making more. Specifically today, we're gonna be adding more shops to the Mushroom Beach Town Island. And if you follow me over on Twitch, then you would have already seen the start of that process on stream. Before we head on over there today though, um, I need to check to see what happened with the art auction. And there's also been some new things popping up around spawn that I wanna check out. So let's see, is there anything for me? <gasps> A chest. Are these paintings? <gasps> Whoa, wait, I got six paintings. Okay, how much do I owe? What does the book say? Congrats on your winnings. Please deposit your diamonds in the chest outside the auction house. Oh, he's not gonna tell me how much I owe. Do I have to go back and count? Uh-oh, um, well, um, hmm. Was I supposed to keep track of that? We're gonna have to go over there and see what's up. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I remember how many diamonds I was gonna give. Okay, well, let's just take these. And we need to find a place to put them. I did not think about this beforehand. <gasps> Wait, what about in my collection building? My, my cloud battle building in the sky. That would be such a good place for these. Hold up. We're going to the clouds. You know, I'm going up this water when I just remembered I have a waystone in here. Ah, uh, silly me. That's okay. But let's see. Okay, we have our Disney hats here. Our crafting tables in the back. We have our one little loser pig trophy here, which is adorable. And then upstairs, we have a bunch of armor and stuff. I think the most wall space is downstairs. So let's put these paintings over here. So we have this one, and that is the creator. We have this one with its creator. Then we have these two, the boys and the girls. Oh, wait, why is this clipping? Ah, there we go. And here's the creator of these. And then we have this one. And I'm wondering if it would look weird if we squished it to fit in this small space. I mean, yes, that does look kind of weird. But if we place it here, everything will fit. And now I know I have one other painting, but this is the one of the coven. And instead of being in my building, I feel like this would look cute in the coven room. So let's just grab this. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Well, now that I've placed the new paintings that I won, <laughs> um, we need to figure out how many diamonds I owe. So uh, let's head on over to the auction house. Leave your diamonds under your name. <gasps> oh, it tells me I owe 17 diamonds. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, wait, do I have that on me? Wow, I left my diamonds at home. I'll be right back. When did my sugar cane get that tall? I don't like it. No. Oh my god. I do not have the inventory space for this. Yup, it's full. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave this here and I'm gonna go give my diamonds to Joel. Okay, so what does this say? 17 diamonds. There you go. The payment is complete. Now, uh, what is this? <gasps> oh, this is the A-Heart Clubhouse. Is that an anvil? Whoa, I can see under the bottom. Hello. Okay, well, while we are around spawn, let's see what's new around here. Oh, that looks new. Is this Jem's new flower shop? Look at these giant flowers. Ooh, let's see, what's inside? May mix and match any four sets of 16 to make 64. Don't forget to take a complimentary Disney wish. <gasps> Wait, this is cute. What do the white flowers look like? <gasps> Ooh, fun. I'm gonna need a bunch of white flowers soon for my future winter project. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember to come back and get a bunch of white flowers because I will need those. Note to self, come back when working on winter thing. Okay, good, I'll remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm actually gonna need while I'm over here? I need some more of those picture frames. So let's see if Scott shop still has any. Are there any in stock? <gasps> Yes, there is. Okay, I wanna get, I think, two because I use these a lot. Okay, well, now that we've done a little bit of shopping, let's head on over to the Mushroom Island so I can show you what I've done so far. Wait a minute, no, while we're here, does Joel have any more warp scrolls? I just realized I only have the seven of these left. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank you, Bob, I appreciate you. Okay, now we can go to the Mushroom Island. Okay, so from my previous video, you guys already know I made the juice bar and the surf shop, but on stream, I started making two more buildings. So to the right of the surf shop, this 
is going to be an ice cream place. And then to the left of the juice bar, this is gonna be a food place. And you know what? This is the first time I've been back here since I've built these things. And I've noticed there are more new things. We've got a Jimmy Bucks on the boardwalk. <gasps> this is cute. Oh, he's got the little coffee maker. He's got a sink. Where are all the coffees though, Jimmy? Jimmy? How do you have a coffee shop without coffee? I have questions. And then over here, we have the lighthouse. I saw Flip working on this the other day and it looks so cool. Oh wait, they're working on the pier too. Oh, that's gonna be really cool because they're gonna have a Ferris wheel and stuff. So the lighthouse is new, the pier is new, the Jimmy Bucks is new. And we also have this now. It's like a little swan paddle boat thing. Look at it. And you can sit inside. Oh, look at me. I'm in a swan. Ah. Everything is starting to look so good. And I feel like we only need like maybe two or three more buildings on this boardwalk until the boardwalk is done. For now though, let's get to work on these two new shops. And um, also I may be adding a third one, but we'll see. I'll leave that one for later. Guys, I just finished doing the base of both of these builds, so let me show you what I have so far. Over to my left, this is gonna be the ice cream store. I decided to detail it with some white fencing and slabs. I did this weird thing on the corner because I, I don't know, I thought it looked cool. Moving on down to the other building, this is the food place. Now, I think this one actually looks really cool because it's a different shape. It's different than everything else. I don't know what it is, it just kind of looks cool and I like it. But now, of course, <clears throat> we have to decorate these buildings to make them, you know, look more like what they're supposed to look like. And we can start doing that with paintings. So starting with the name of this, um, I decided to call it food and stuff. <laughs> so here is the sign for food and stuff. And then inside along this back wall, we can have a menu. I found these really cute signs online that say order here and pick up here. And then above the pickup window, we can add some french fries. Now this already looks a million times better, but we can add the food models that I made for Sheepland. I need to go down to my crafting table for a second though, because I think I wanna make some stairs out of this. And we can pretend that these are um, the cash registers. Wait, does it look bad? Would it look better if we just did the brick? Yeah, that looks better. Okay, we'll do this instead. But now that we have our pretend registers, we could also pretend that someone ordered a burger and a pizza and a drink. Then inside the building, we can add a counter like this to display the rest of the food. So we can just have some pizza back here and we can put some burgers over here. Now I just wanna use these fairy lights to put above the registers. And I was thinking maybe it would look cool if we added a fence to separate the lines. Wait, no, I like that. And it makes sense to help, you know, organize the lines of people that are gonna be getting food, which is probably never, but listen, we're pretending here, okay? Okay, well now that we have this, I think we're pretty much done but we must add one more thing. We have to add one of those ketchup thingies. Uh, you know, you know, when you like, there's always ketchup. We're just gonna pretend that that's the ketchup dispenser and that's what you can use for your french fries. Now that this place is done, let's go work on the ice cream store. So for the ice cream place, I decided to call it Boardwalk Scoops. Is that not adorable? It's pretty basic, but you know, whatever. I thought it was cute. <laughs> okay, now for the inside of this place, I it would be cool if I could kind of replicate what it looks like when you're getting ice cream. So let's add some counters down in here. We'll use this as our fake register. And then on top of this counter, we can add this picture of ice cream. If you look at it from above, it almost looks like the containers that they scoop the ice cream out of. Now over by the register, we can add an order here sign. And then you know how in ice cream places, they have cones on display so you can decide which one you want? Well, if I put a temporary block over here and then put this like this and then get rid of this, Oh my God, it kind of looks like the displays. That's cute. Okay, now behind this counter, I have this sign that displays a bunch of different ice creams. Over on this side, we can add a giant ice cream picture. And then I was thinking it could be cool if I added some kind of soft serve machine. Oh my God, guys, look. Look at this soft serve machine. It's beautiful. So we have one on this side 
and we have one over on this side too. Now I think we just need to add a little counter back here. And I think I'm done with the ice cream shop. <gasps> no, wait a minute. I forgot that this mod has ice cream. I have made some glass item frames and now inside we can display some popsicles and ice cream cones. Oh my god. Well, now that we have all of this, I just quickly want to go around and add some windows to these buildings and then I'll give you a tour. Okay. The windows have been placed, so now let's take a look at what we built. So first we have the food and stuff food place where we sell all kinds of stuff like french fries, hot dogs, burgers, and drinks. We have it set up so you can place your orders over here, and then you can pick up your stuff and get your ketchup over here. Continuing on down here, we have the ice cream shop. Welcome to Boardwalk Scoops. So this is what the outside of our ice cream shop looks like. And if we go inside, we have all this cool ice cream. You can order here, you can pick out your cone, you can pick out your ice cream flavors. We have some soft serve machines and we even have some real ice cream that players in the game can eat. All right guys, well now that we have these two new shops, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I know I mentioned building another one, but if you're watching this video right now on the day that I uploaded it, then that means I am live streaming right now. And I'm gonna be live streaming on the Xlife server, so you should come by my Twitch page to see what I'm building. But yeah, now that everything is done, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which shop you like better. Is it the food place or the ice cream place? If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!